Hi, welcome back to another Fusion Basics tutorial. Today we're going to be doing the text 3D node. Let's get to it. Go to the Fusion page. Drag the text 3D node down there. Connect text 3D to media out one. Wow, it doesn't get through. Why? It's because if we drag text 3D to the viewer, its output is in 3D. So it cannot go into media out. Media out only takes in a 2D input. What you see on your TV screens are 2D because it's on a single plane, right? So to convert this to a version that media out can take in, we'll need a renderer node. We drag that here, connect text 3D to renderer, and then the renderer to media out. If we drag media out to the viewer, now we see it's going through, but there's nothing because there's no entry for text. Let's type that there. And then we have something here. Let's have something here. Now to text 3D. On the inspector, we have the usual suspects. The text input, the font, color, size, tracking. We discussed all this in the text plus tutorial. I'm not going to go through all that. You can check that out here. Let's move on. We go to extrusion. This extrusion section is unique to text 3D. Let's say we increase this by 0 0.2. That's even a lot. This is 0 0.02. Maybe a little bit more. You see it, it extrudes forward a bit. To be able to see it clearly, toggle this lighting button here. So it shows you a 3D look. Okay. Now we go down to the extrusion section. Let's adjust the bevel depth a bit. Let's adjust the bevel width a bit. And um, if we zoom in, say 200, you see the edges? If I go turn depth, you see that edge there? There's a slight chamfer at the edge. You could um, widen that so you see it better. So you see that chamfer at the edge there? That's what the bevel does. But we can also this is just flat. We can make this curved so it looks like a rounded edge to the text. We can go to custom, select the top points there and press F on the keyboard. Let's drag this handle to the, to the side and drag this handle to the side. Then you see the text is now rounded. Let's zoom out back to 100. So we see what we're working with. Then we go to layout. Layout, we, we can move left, right, up, down. Zoom in, zoom out. Same rotation, rotation, rotation. Pretty straightforward stuff like what we discussed in the text plus tutorial. Same thing with transform, rotation, then we get to share you can share it like that. You can also share it like this by character or per word, in which case it does start across the words. You have to go back to character and reset that. This can be done across character, words, and lines. Same thing with size, just like the text plus note. Now for shading in 3D, you can't layer shading values in 3D. Just one is what you have. So we have the color. The specular color is the color of where the light reflects off of the character, the bright part. So we set this to white. If I set this to blue, for example, this shine here, because all this light reflection we are seeing here are created with this does not necessarily reflect how the text will look when it goes through renderer 3D, right? 
So if we go to render 3D and we enable lighting and shadow and we drag media out, it's black because as far as the Blender 3D is concerned, there's no light on the scene. So we can drag a merge node here and drag and press Control space bar and type ambient. We pick ambient light and click OK. Connect this to my 3D and we increase the intensity to 1. Now it just creates a flat text, which is not exactly what we would like. So let's drag a spotlight in here, connect that to the merge. The spotlight increase is to about 1. Point. Let's go to my 3D so you see what I'm doing. So you see this light here, that's the light here. I go here and I pull it back a bit. I go to controls, increase the cone angle. Let's disconnect this. So you get to see how this light is affecting things. Let's go to transform for the light. This light with the transform, use target. Go here. Put it back a bit more and go to controls and this linear so it fades gently. Let's pull it to the left a bit more. Drag it to the left a bit more. Something like that. And I can raise it up. Mm -hmm. By the time we go to media out, you see something like this, which is nice. So you see that shiny part is now blue based on what we clicked on here. We said the specular color should be blue. If we change this to purple, so you see it has that purple hint. Let's change it back to white. Let us move on. Then we go to position. So we can move left and right. Zoom in and out. Double click, double click to reset. Rotation, the same thing, share and size, the same thing. Same thing with transform. And um, that's just the body for the text 3D node. I'd like to add one thing though. If you right click on this, you can actually add follower. You can add text scramble, text timer, time code, much like what we did in the text plus tutorial. All that is available on here. But there's one thing you need to note. This character level styling, mm, it doesn't work so well in 3D. So you can ignore this for text 3D for now until probably it will be fixed or something. But right now I've tested it. It doesn't quite work well. Maybe someone else knows how it works. But as far as I see it, it doesn't work quite well. And that's basically it for this tutorial. We could do a little movement. Let's, let's go to text 3D, right click on it, go to follower. Go to modifiers. I want it to move in from the left. So I go to this point, I go to shading, scroll down, go to position, keyframe this, go back to follower, position, I go to this part, go there like that. Then I go to 20, and I pull it back in to zero. Good. I go to timing and give the timing that two. And I say that this should be from right to left. I'm no, sorry, from left to right. Play this back. We have that. It's not smooth. So I go to the spline. I go to displacement. I go to zoom to fit. I click on here. I press Ctrl A, press F on the keyboard, press T on the keyboard and increase easing to about 80. That's my magic figure for easing. Close the spline panel, go in here, play back again, better, good. Now there's something else we can do. So I'll go back to tools, right click on this and go to inserts and still add yet another follower. You go to modifiers, follower two. This applies to text plus note two. We go to shading. Note that for text 3D, this opacity 
softness doesn't work it only works on the text plus note but position and rotation works let's go to rotation the beginning i want it i want the x value to be 90 and at this point i want it to be zero oh i didn't keyframe it so i have to keyframe this to zero then go back to the beginning and type 90 then i'll go to spline and check displacements angle select all that control a f on the keyboard using to about 80 close spline go to timing set this to perhaps let's say seven and let's play what we've got so it's kind of slow so i need to increase this like three and let's play it back again see that you could still lay it some more or and add multiple followers on the same text I thought this was going to be a short tutorial, but here it is. Just wanted to show you guys a few of the things that are possible in here. Do like and subscribe, and um, see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.